shooting is definitely the best option with those things. Thankfully, the handgun does enough of a job with it. I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it's withering away. Poor thing. Oh, there's something here. Find the Holy One. Kill her? That's me. Who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. Also a save point if you want it. Though nothing to say about this one. And cutscene time. So we've met someone new going through this little journey with us, Vincent. He tends to be a bit of a fan favorite character. I rather like how he's portrayed. Very animated, very interesting. Also, we had a bit of a reveal there. Did you catch it? We got Oxidol. And a health drink. And a first aid kit. And a first aid kit. I'm done with these shelves. Those were really good shelves. There's a junior high school chemistry book here. When you pour diluted hydrogen peroxide onto manganese dioxide, oxygen is produced. Although oxygen will not burn on its own, it'll help other things to burn. Oxygen is also formed when the disinfectant oxidol is poured onto grated vegetables or liver. Well, good thing we just found some oxidol, I guess. The TV looks broken. The switch doesn't do anything. If we try and go back where we came from. I don't think I'll go in this room. That weird guy's in there. And so we've unlocked this door. 
And we're back in the front room of what turns out to be the health clinic. Let's see, that is the sound of a double head, I believe. Here, doggy. There you are. Oh, you had a friend. Bad dog, stay down. Right. So, no getting through there. This elevator doesn't work. None of the other doors here work. So, our choices are limited to one. The other elevator. nice that the elevator works. Maybe we can just instantly get out of here. Let's go down to the first floor. Sadly, things are not to be so simple. What the heck? I don't want to get too close, but I don't think it'll attack me now. Why not? All bark and no bite? Anyhow, it's in the way. I can't get past it. And it's the ground floor, too. This ought to be the exit. That is the glutton. But there's nothing really we can do with it. There's a fairy tale in front of it, though. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster, and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that! Their swords slashed, and their spears flashed. But the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth, one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed, and paced the floor but could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. The book's torn. The rest is missing. I remember reading this a long time ago. I think I borrowed it from someone. I don't remember how it ended, though. Uh, didn't I read the story through to the end? So there's nothing we can actually do with the glutton. We just have to let it sit there for now. This door is locked, but not broken. Meaning we'll have to come back there later. Can't open. Can't open. But this one, we can. And there's an insane cancer to deal with. Go ahead and chuck one of those. I only reloaded the gun. I didn't actually equip it. Brilliant! This definitely seems to be an effective method for getting rid of these guys. Ow! You got up a little faster than I was expecting.
Okay, you're deflating. You're done. And get some shotgun shells to replace the ones we just used. A thing of note about insane cancers is they actually take a bit less damage from attacks while they're lying down, from what I've read. And they can also heal a bit during that, so don't let them lie down for too long. Over here in this charmingly disgusting refrigerator. For some reason, the only thing in the fridge is liver. I hope it's not rotten. We got a pork liver. How handy that we just read about liver earlier. There's a dirty glass on the counter. It looks average enough. Is this register broken? There's money scattered all over. The register and the cash aren't of much use to me right now. So, for now, that's all we can do here on the first floor. So, back into the elevator we go. Let's go up to the fifth floor. Bit of a gap there, mind that. As well as the one going that way. So this is the floor that had the Gallery of Fine Arts. Oh, more slurpers. How many handgun bullets do I even have? 133, that's a goodly amount. dead yet? Okay, let's reload. Okay, the noises have stopped. I think we're good now. So, all kinds of rooms to cover here. They definitely made the Otherworld Hilltop Center as uh, unsettling as they possibly could. <laughs> 